Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to take a look at a pipeline discord leak that came in for engineering. I'm a part, I'm not a part of NDA through Ibukati. Um, I don't even know if CG, CIG knows who I am or even cares, um, or I'll ever probably be a part of Ibukati, but here we are. So looking at this, this is footage from pipeline. They do, um, I don't want to share the name of the person. I don't want them in trouble from CIG, right? Like, so I, that doesn't make sense to me to share. I, I appreciate them sharing the relevant information. Maybe that person gave them a name that is relevant without actually giving their player tag. At any rate, you can find this information at the Pipeline Discord. Um, and so I do want to kind of share really quick the names of some of the ships that do currently have engineering supports or their supported ships, quote unquote. So we have the Carrick, we have the MSR, you know, the Mercury Star Runner, Gladius, the Saber, the Scorpius, the Infernos uh, and the Ion, sorry, the Ares series, if you will, the Crusader Ares, Inferno and the Ion. The Corsair, which is what we're gonna see footage of here. We have the Cutter, we have the Misfortune, the Fury, um, a couple of the Furies there, MX, LX, the regular Fury. Uh, the Golem, the Guardian, QI, and MX. Weird that the regular base colon isn't there. I'm assuming the base colon would be in there as well, but it doesn't specify that one. Um, Hole A, we have the Mantis, Meteor, Intrepid, Polaris, Prowler, Pulse, and the Pulse LX, the Retaliator, Sentakii, we have the Spirit C1 and A1, the Star Lancer Max and Tac, the Sulin, the Talon, the Talon Shrike, the Terrapins, which I'm assuming is Terrapins, even though it just shows Terrapin, Asgard, the Storm, the uh, Storm AA, the Vanguard, um, it shows, looks to be all of the Vanguard Wardens, um, and then moving on, the Vulture, the Nomad, the Nova, the Zeus CL and the MR, the uh, STV, which is interesting, uh, X1, the Ursa Medivac, the Apollo Triage and Medivac, and then the Paladin. Interesting, I didn't see some of the ships there. Additionally, there were some notes about the salvaging ships not working correctly, some component challenges. But anyways, we're going to look here at the footage from the Corsair. So you can see this is the engineering terminal. You can see there's a way to kind of check the different areas of the ship as well as nearby systems and there um, you can kind of vent rooms so life support all the life support shows offline in the top left corner that could be because maybe they didn't put it in but there are some references to life support later on in the video when there's kind of a fire not kind of a fire there is a fire and um venting and things of that nature you can see you can vent rooms here which would be i would think the best way to go about venting a fire more so than extinguishers in space turn power off Possibly for the room, not only just the um, room vent feature. You can see the wider settings here. There's presets, but obviously I don't think this person has presets set up. This may be a good way to preset venting or setting up a room for fire extinguishers or just general power management. It's hard to tell without having this in hand to be able to play with. I have to make quite a few assumptions here. There's an exclusive mode lock, which I think uh, makes it so that some you know somebody doesn't just come on your ship and start messing with your power information right so be able to lock the panel would be very ideal in the mfds there is a new panel associated with this that gives you some insights into which we'll take a look at again later in this video but there is an mfd associated with your overall kind of components so there's just general power management as well here is that damage you know kind of overall diagnostics of your ship some of these are placeholders, unfortunately, so we don't know under that main thruster what the others are. Maybe it's the VTOLs or other um, engines. So this person is taking damage on the shields and eventually the components will start to fail. It doesn't look like they're in combat, so this could just be a part of the gameplay. At any rate, you can see that things have shut down. So as he goes to the back here, you'll notice that quite a few things aren't working. The part that alarms me is the door's not working. So I don't know if that's intended or not, as the door should be a mechanical thing you can see lights things aren't working so again i don't know if that's because things are broken or if there's some kind of bug with the system hopefully it's a bug i would think mechanical things such as doors would still work even when power's out or at least there'd be some kind of manual override so the arc you can see he's trying to repair the shield um that will go a little bit better later on you can see that there's a cooler failure and some associated systems are are messed up with that the cooler itself is blinking Temperature rising here pretty rapidly for the power plant. Daybreak is a power plant for this particular ship. You can see it says daybreak and then power plant up under that. You can also turn it off. I wonder, I wonder if that would be allow you to just turn it off to prevent it from continuing to rise in temperature there. You can 
can see that it'll go to vent the door manually here, and then there'll be some associated, obviously, um, things uh, uh, happening with that because there's now some level of life support going on. Again, life support doesn't look to be implemented as the top left in the, in the original panel showed it was offline, but you can see there is as if he's outside. When you go to a planet side, you're going to have, you know, the inability to breathe, the oxygen saturation and things of that nature are scuffed essentially now that you've opened this door. Which is pretty interesting, something that people have been asking for for quite a while. I did see Kamaral recently did a video about this, and this appears to now be somewhat implemented. You can see power pips here. Um, here in a bit, they will go up. Still seeing hit markers, but again, I'm not seeing any combat, but possibly he brought a friend and they're damaging them in the background. So there's power pips. Oh, the cooler went offline. Yeah. So it's hard to tell exactly what's going on here. Back to the engineering terminal. Door's working again, so that's you know that's good. I think we'll see fire here in a minute. Actually, the salvaging tool, I think, works better this time. Yeah, so here's the fire gameplay. Um, I did see some issue council stuff about fire being invisible, so hopefully they'll get that fixed. But repair not needed for this one. You can see the part integrity. You can see the RMC. Now, he does start doing repairs here on the power plant, but oddly enough, the RMC is not going down. Maybe RMC container indicate how much RMC is left in that particular component. That could be what's being shown there instead of the actual RMC supposed to be going down. Also, not dealing with the fire, obviously not fun. And now this part I don't get, he's kind of moving the cooler about. So the heat is going up for the power plant. Rising more now that the cooler is further away. I don't understand what's going on here. As the heat is rising, regardless of where he puts the cooler, and I don't know why he's moving the cooler. I can see, again, part of the big fun of this is possibly being able to swap out components, at least for non-capitals. Capitals, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Um, but being able to quickly swap out components will be probably the new meta and maybe something we can even test now to be kind of. So again, life support on the top left is not working. You can see that there is warning lights. Um, Radon has a problem. Quantum drive is disabled. You can see the fuel, you can see the cooling system, but heat obviously rapidly rising here as the power plant loses its integrity. Yeah, and without being in here and being able to play with it myself, I, it's hard to tell exactly what all is happening here. But you can see that the power plant is basically cooking at this point. I don't know why you wouldn't just turn it off and try to go to repair it. But in this case, I, just, I think he wants to see like where its breaking point is. Again, I don't understand why the cooler is being moved. He's moving it closer, but it doesn't seem to help the heat at all. Oh, okay. So he had moved the cooler out. And now the minute he puts the cooler back in, it's now fixing it. It's now lowering the heat. Rapidly, actually. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I didn't see that for the first kind of area. I don't know why you'd be able to move the cooler out. Maybe it was just offline, more so than actually physically moving it. But you can see now it's the cooling system is working better, and it's able to maintain management of the heat for the power plant. All right, I think that's about it. Again, he's not moving the cooler, but again, well, actually, I think it's just off to the side. I think it needs to be put back next to it for the heat to kind of show again. Hope you all enjoy this. Um, being able to manage that cooler and the temperatures, there's quite a bit of gameplay here. This can be made available for it. So there's the diagnostic screen, there's heat management, there's life support management, fire on the ships. Relay connect items through the ship throughout the ship. So you'd have to manage those fuses and the relays component damage Weapon balancing is something they're also working on ship component balancing is also something they're working on And there's some general like FPS and other things going on as well So I would highly recommend if you want to take a look at the overall patch notes for the tech preview to take a look at the pipeline discord um, I'll try to put a link for that as well in if I can but hopefully it gives you all a good idea of what the, I don't want this to drag on too much, but give a good idea of what's going on with engineering and the tech preview. Thank you all for checking the video. I appreciate those taking time to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Ooh,